It's rush hour in Conquer City, Kansas, but we've come too far to let traffic spoil the fun. We came to see the world's largest ball of twine, and in a moment of pure, brilliant inspiration, my wife, Chris, thought to help protect the amazing record by actually adding to it. Using a four-inch piece of camouflage yarn from which she's knitting me a hunting hat, she tied it onto the gargantuan string ball, believing this would finally and forever ensure the title. I liked it because, in a way, I could now say that my hunting hat was made from the world's largest ball of twine. What does it feel like to have contributed to society and done something of this magnitude? What do you think? It's fulfilling. We soaked in the total experience. And we were happy. This is the flag and the flagpole at the world's largest ball of twine. Every, every world's largest ball of twine should have its own flag and this one does. But wait a minute, not so fast. Up drove a lifelong Cocker City resident who is the ultimate protector of this sizal monster. I'm the caretaker of this ball of twine. You're the official caretaker? I am. And what's your, what's your last name? Clover. Lin, Linda Clover? Clover. Linda Clover. Like four-leaf kind. Linda Clover. How long have you been taking care of this world's largest About bullet? Twenty years. Twenty years. How long? How much? This when this started out, Linda said this was only the size of a basketball twenty years ago, and now it's this big. <laughs> it's taken it longer than that. <laughs> and in an amazing gesture of hospitality and world peace, she produced a twine reel from which we could officially grow the corded beast something she always does when she sees tired pilgrims like us alighting at this quest's end. Bigger it grew as we circled its equator, growing almost beyond the limits of imagination. But not quite. There's still room for more should you choose to visit for yourself. And though daylight allowed us to resume our journey, a nearby lodging is available should you be caught by darkness and need to stay overnight. Twine, maybe not the final frontier, but something to see in subspace time as you journey in the sunflower state. Put Cocker City on your bucket list. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.